Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video, we're gonna to put together our robot gift box. It's a pretty simple box to put together, and it's got a good size container for a special little gift, a gift card, um, pretty much anything you can fit in this container, obviously. And it goes together pretty quickly. Um, you can definitely spend some time embellishing it. Uh, so it's completely up to you how far you want to take it, but let me show you how the basic construction goes together. So let's take a look at the pieces here. And first thing we want to do is, well, the first thing I would recommend doing is taking these two pieces. Um, one of them we cut out of glitter. The other one we cut out of um, just standard cardstock. We wanted to kind of double layer it. This is the little base that our robot sits on. So you just wanna glue these two layers together and then just kinda put them to the side to let it dry. If you are using a piece of glitter for the top portion, I would maybe suggest putting this in a nice thick book just to make sure that it gets a good grip and holds, okay? Um, so we can put that off to the side. Let's go ahead and put our arms together really quick. So this is what the arms look like. I'm gonna go ahead and just put one of them together because they're both identical. So we can put that to the side. What we wanna do is you wanna fold at the score marks. Get everything nice and folded. Okay. And we have this tab here that you're gonna to wanna to put glue on. Nice thin line of glue. Get a little bit of glue out to the edge Fold that tab down just a tad, and then work that glue out to, the, out to the edge there. And then glue it to this side here. Okay, so just go ahead and get that glued into place. And you can actually, what I did, to ensure that I've got it lined up perfectly, you can actually fold it flat because it is, it is a symmetrical piece. So you can glue it flat like that and then shape it, okay? And then we just have to close this up and you can do that. I'm just gonna put some glue on these tabs here and then of course, some glue out to the edges there and smear that glue out to the edge so that it looks nice and clean, um, solid. Okay, so put that flap over, get it down, and then you can put it flat on your table. If you want, you can grab like a dowel or a pen or whatever and just kind of push down if you can't get your finger in there. Just kind of help those tabs grip. Okay, and then you can go ahead and push these down and go ahead and get this glued into place as well. Okay. And again, I just like to smear that glue out to the out to the edge. It just makes it look that much more professional and clean. Okay, so we're just gonna close that up. There we go. So we just have a little rectangular box there. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece, and this is a little trim piece for the robot's arms. And we're just gonna put some glue on this piece here. And let's just get that glued into place. You want it completely flush with the bottom, just like that. And just hold it in place until it's nice and dry. Just like that, okay. And now we've got this cool little lightning shaped piece, okay? And that is gonna get glued on like that. Okay, so go ahead and get that glued on like that, okay? And then the next thing you wanna do is glue his little arms together. So we've got this piece here, has score marks at two places. And what we're gonna do is just glue it together like this. So we're gonna put glue on the bottom of this and make sure that you get glue out to the edge closest to this part here. 
just so that that part is nice and crisp and clean like that. Okay, and then you can put that down on your surface and just push down, especially where the seam kind of connects there just to make it nice and perfect. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue it to the bottom uh, on the side that contains that little trim piece. So we're gonna go ahead and put glue right there. Do your best to get it out to that edge and just glue that down and let that hold. So you're gonna do that twice because the robot has two arms, okay? And of course, like I said, yours, yours is gonna have the little uh, lightning bolt piece there as well. And that's what your arm's gonna look like. Okay, so you have two of those. We're gonna put that to the side for now. And we can go ahead and begin working on the base of our robot, okay? And here is the base. So you've got this main piece here. And we wanna go ahead and just begin by folding at the score marks. And then we've just got a few extra pieces that we need to connect. So the way this works is you've got two of a certain of one color, and then we're gonna go alternate color here, alternate color here, and then another of this color here. So you've got two, one, 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 okay? So let's go ahead and take this alternate color and we're gonna glue that into place. So get a nice line of glue there on the interior of the tab and then make sure that you get that glue out to the edge as close as you can. Helps to fold that tab over, okay? And now this piece here, as you can see, it's got the little tab similar to this one here. So you want that at the bottom. And what I'm doing is I'm just using my surface to help me align this, just making sure that up here we're nice and aligned. And I'm pushing this up against the wall there and just pushing this down. It really helps to use your surface as much as possible when you're doing this gluing to ensure that you've got it as accurate as possible. Okay, and that always gives me the best results. So that's that, and we're just gonna continue with the next piece. Okay, same thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on this tab on the interior. Gonna get a little bit out to the exterior. Fold that tab down. Just kind of helps ensure that you don't get glue beyond the little score lines there. And just again, match it up. Make sure it's flush here. And then push that up against it. And push this tab down. Make sure that gets a good grip. Okay. And we can continue working our way down. Same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this tab here. Fold that down. And just get that glue out to the edge as nicely as you can. Okay, just like that. And push that down. There we go. Okay, so now you have all five sides in place. Now, of course, you want to take your time more making sure that the glue really sets before you move on to the next piece. I tend to move pretty quickly when I do these videos. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up now by putting glue on this tab here. Same thing that we just did basically. Okay. And go ahead and just kind of caress that glue along that tab and get that into place. Now, since this is uh, five-sided, you can't really fold it and use your table um, as leverage to glue this piece down. So you gotta kinda do it in the air, so to speak, but that's okay. And you can, however, put it down like this to push down. Okay, so we've got all five sides connected. 
And all we have to do now is just glue these tabs to the base. Okay, and again, you want to go ahead and get some glue into the interior of the tab and then follow that up with a little bit towards the edge there that we're going to take and kind of smear to try to get that nice perfect little seam there. Okay. And I'm just going to push that down. Actually, it helps if you take these tabs and sort of lift them up so that as you push this piece down, it has more surface area to grab onto. Okay, and you may need to sort of shimmy some of these things around, some of these sides or these walls around just to ensure that you get it nice and perfect. Okay, and then you can flip it over and push from the inside to get those tabs to really stick. Okay, and you have your box base. Okay, now there's also a little liner that you can glue inside. So just go ahead and put glue inside there and just pop this piece into the bottom. Okay, so we have that. Now this is the piece that we glued together initially. You're gonna glue that in place. Try to, do, try to do your best to get that centered, and that's just gonna create a nice little um, platform for our robot, okay? And then um, we have, um, actually, cool thing about this, kinda did a few extra things for you. For the base here, you'll notice that on the, in, in my case, on white, yours might be different, there are some little indicators here that show you where these pieces go. Okay, so uh, th these little accent pieces are gonna get glued on like so. So you wanna do that on this side and on this side using these little notches here as guides as to the placement. Okay, so you wanna get those glued into place. Okay, and then we also have his little grill and there's also a guide here that shows you where that goes. So that's gonna get glued like so. And I've also, in my final version here, you'll notice that we added some googly eyes. I got these at Michael's. Um, it was a, a pack of all sorts of different sizes of googly eyes. They're really cool. You could probably use them for a bunch of other projects too. Um, and I actually, I, I used actual glue to make sure that they didn't fall off, okay? Um, so that is the base of our box. And one thing, and here, here's a little tip that I just wanna share with you. I've shared this tip in other videos. I don't know if you can see that. Um, my gluing down here wasn't the best, okay? So what I usually do in that case, especially when I'm working on the final versions for the website, um, I will take my spatula and just put a little dab of glue on some paper and just kind of peel this back a little bit and just throw an extra little bit of glue in there, just like that, and then just hold that down just with my finger until it dries. And you can see how much more polished that looks now. Okay, so that's just a little tip on how you can really, really make these look super professional. Okay, so that's the base. Um, all that's really left is to put together the top which won't take long. So let's go ahead and do that. And just like with the base, we have two and then alternate color, back to the base color, alternate color, then we'll connect it. Okay, so first things first, especially with these pieces that, um, are curved, you wanna make sure that you fold at the score lines. It's just gonna make the assembly that much easier. And you wanna do it before you start gluing because once you start gluing, you run into the possibility of ripping or um, losing 
you know, making the paper kind of rip apart or, or the glue not stay and then kind of making a mess out of things. So definitely fold everything before you start gluing just to kind of loosen up these score line areas. And that will help you achieve a more professional look with these projects. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually just connect all these pieces at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this tab here. And again, just to get those really clean seams, let me just go ahead and spread that out. Put this flat on my surface, use this edge here to help me with the alignment. And that looks almost perfect. That looks good. And you can push it up against that piece there and then push this tab down. And just hold that in place while it dries. Wipe off any excess glue that you may have in there, okay? And then we go to the alternate color, or the base color, I should say. Okay, and again, just kind of glue that piece down, spread that, spread that glue out. Also, by spreading that glue out like that, you're actually speeding up the dry time because it's a lot thinner, so it won't take as long to dry. And that's good. Okay, and you can you can actually, if you want. You can kind of fold that over onto itself just to make sure you've got a nice clean seam there. That looks good to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here. I can already tell that I got way too much glue on there. So I'm just gonna smear that off to the edge there and maybe get rid of some of that excess. Excess, not access. And then get that lined up and glue down there we go okay and i'm just going to fold this over again just to make sure that i've got a nice clean seam there and you can tell that's pretty flush there so i'm very happy with that and then we can go ahead we don't want to actually close this up yet because it would kind of make it harder to work with um, this tab here um, you really don't have to glue it. Um, it's a very small tab. If you want, you can. I'm not really overly concerned about it. It's more there just so that light doesn't come through. I would just skip to the next tab. Structurally, if you skip that tab, it's not going to matter. So just uh, one tab at a time here. That was way too much glue. Go ahead and just connect it to the neighbor, making sure that you're following the correct angle there. Those score lines there, you can see what the angle is supposed to look like there. Okay, just make sure that you're, you're following that angle as precisely as possible. Okay, and just push and hold that down until it's dry. Okay, and then you can peel this back so that you can apply your glue and just get a nice thin line out to the edge there. If you do it right, you can get away with not even having to smear it too much with your finger. And again, follow that angle. Make sure that you've got, you've got that angle just right. Okay, and just hold that down. And you can peel this piece back and Get your glue on this tab. Okay, just like that. Pull it back in and connect it like so. Okay, so one, two, three. I skipped this one here, but as you can see, it's so small, it kind of sits in place on its own and doesn't really move in or anything. So you could totally skip that tab there. Um, on these connected pieces. Um, it's up to you, either way. So you're just gonna repeat that process by gluing these tabs to its neighbor on the rest of these until we get to the end here. And we'll go ahead and put this all together 
um, together. So go ahead and repeat that process for these and I'll meet you when we go ahead and close it up. Okay, so I've got the majority of this thing put together and at this point we're gonna go ahead and close it up and we're gonna begin with the large tab here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the interior of this tab and then just take that and smear that out to the edge. Okay, and then just focus on the bottom here, making sure that the bottom is nice and flush. Now, one thing that I've just discovered over the years of doing these paper crafts is, you know, as precisely as they're engineered, just remember that um, we're only human, we're not robots, and we only do our best to try to piece these things together the way they were designed with computers, okay? So um, there's gonna be an element of human error and that's totally okay, it's gonna happen. Okay, so we've got that bottom part connected. I'm just gonna go ahead and push these tabs out a little bit. Again, you can totally ignore this tab here. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, and we're just gonna put glue on these three tabs here. Get that smeared out to the edge. Okay, and Go ahead, I would maybe start by making sure that this top part gets a good grip. And then we can kind of flip it and use our table to get the, the rest of them in place. Okay, or you can just do it in the air, so to speak. Like that, just kind of pushing here and here you may need to get your finger in there to get that tab to really hold and again you got to make sure that you get it at just the right angle okay so there we go all right so now what we want to do is want to flip these tabs up for the top, okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put glue on these tabs here. And again, we also wanna make sure that that's kind of smeared out to the edge too. We want that to look nice and finished. Okay, and this is actually going to be layered with some panels, so even if you kind of made a little bit of a mess with glue and stuff, it's not the end of the world, okay. So just hold that down and let it get a good grip. That was pretty easy. Okay, and we also have, there's a piece that we're gonna use inside later. And there's this piece here, which we do wanna get glued down now. So go ahead and put your glue on top there. Spread that out a little bit. Okay, and get this piece glued down. Make sure that you've got that hole aligned there because we're gonna be popping our little antenna through there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting our panels on and our little decorative elements and then the little antenna and that's pretty much it. So as far as these panels go, there's five of them. I'm just gonna show you one because the process is exactly the same for all of them. So you've got the green ones that are gonna go on the green sides and the white ones that are going, gonna go on the white sides. And the way I did this was I put glue on this piece here first, okay? And I also, you, you don't want super thick layers of glue on, on you know surfaces this large because they, may kind of warp the paper and show through. Oops, I wanna do the same color on this panel. Okay, so get it nice and aligned there. Make sure that it's centered here. Okay, and you can put it down on your table and just push down until it gets a good grip. Okay, and again, take your time with this. Make sure that it gets a good hold before you move on. As I've said before, I tend to kind of move on
a little prematurely when I'm doing the videos because I don't want to bore you. And then all you have to do then is take and put glue on this top segment here. You don't need to put glue here. Just put glue on this top segment here. Okay, and maybe just flatten that out a little bit. If you get a little bit there, that's fine. But the idea is that we want to have a nice curved surface. Okay, so that's why we're doing it that way. And then you just want to hold that in place until it gets a good hold. So you see how that gives it a nice smooth appearance. Okay, so just hold that down until it's dry. You're going to repeat that same process, putting glue on this segment here below this score mark, getting that in place first, and then gluing this segment here like so. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to bring out the final version here to save some time, show you where the rest of these embellishments go. So you'll see here that we have these um, little triangular embellishments. They go on all the sides except for the front. So on the front of the robot, you don't have that. They only go on the four sides that are not the front of the robot. Okay, so this is the front of the robot. You're gonna glue this piece into place right here. It should butt up against the top here. And what I would do is actually train this like so. And of course, you're gonna have your panels on all these. You're gonna glue that down like that, okay? And then on top of this piece, you have a yellow piece. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so that's gonna get glued on like that, okay? And also, we have a little band that goes along the bottom of our robot. This thing has, this, there's two segments to it because we couldn't fit it all on one sheet of paper. So you've got two segments. I would probably do the one with three segments on the front so you don't see the seam anywhere. You want to glue that flush to the bottom. Okay, so just get that glued into place. And then take the two-sided one, or the two-segmented one, and glue that to the back. Okay. And then all that's really left to do at that point is to um, add the final little piecings that go on the front of the lid. And that's just this piece here. It goes like that. Okay. And then we have... Let me grab these pieces here. We have this little piece here that's going to get glued there. This piece gets glued there. And then there's a little tiny triangular piece. If I can find it, there it is. That gets glued there, pointing up. Okay. Um, and then this little handle piece here gets glued onto that band that we glued to the bottom of the lid. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the embellishments on this guy. Now, uh, what I did, here, let me grab this and put him on top. And actually, you know, it might be helpful if I just glue this band on real quick so that we have a reference point. So I'm just going to get this band glued on real quick here. Again, just make sure that it's nice and flush. Let me peel this off and do it how I would normally do it. There we go. Okay, and I'm just using my finger to push down just to make sure that it's nice and flush with the edge here. Okay, so it's not totally glued down, but um, I just wanted to show you as far as gluing the arms down, Okay, you want to make sure that your little lightning bolts are facing forward. And what I did was I just put glue on the center, dead center here on the band. Okay, and then I just took and you want, you want the little band uh, on the arm just slightly below this band. Okay, so just kind of glue that like that. Try to get it centered. Okay, and just hold that in place just to make sure that his little arm stays on there. Okay, so 
make sure that that gets ample time to dry. And then all that's left to do is kind of create his little, his little um, antennas, okay? And um, I just took some 26 gauge wire, okay? And um, you can make them as short or as long as you want. And I don't have my wire cutters, so I'm just gonna use my scissors and take a dowel and just kind of wrap it around the dowel. And then you can kind of squeeze it together. Like I said, you can make this as long or as short as you want. I think I wrapped it around about eight times or so. Okay, and then probably just cut off any excess if you feel like you made it too long. And pull that off and then you can kind of, it's almost like a spring. Um, I actually glued um, these little, they're almost like pearls, but they kind of have a little sparkle to them. Um, I glued two of them back to back onto the actual metal that seemed to work for me. Um, and what you're gonna do is take two of these, and we did have this extra piece here. You're gonna stick those through and leave a little bit of surf, like leave a little bit of the wire there that's kind of flat, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick that in there, and then it's gonna be kind of flat up against the bottom there. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. Yep, you can see that there. Um, put glue on there, like this, and then around the whole thing. You're gonna have two of them in there, because he's got two little antenna. And then just push that piece down kind of use the paper to hold it in place, okay? And as long as you hold it in place there for long enough, that thing will be in there really rock solid, okay? So there we go, okay? So he'll have two antenna, but that's pretty much it. And, you know, we, as usual, we like to embellish, so, we put little rhinestones on the sides, on the top of the arms, on the top of this guy, um, a couple of them here and there, and that really kind of you know, brought this entire piece together, and I think it turned out really cute. I'm sure any young boy, and even young girl, um, will love getting uh, their special gift in this. So if you happen to make this, I'd love to see your version. Um, I see this in so many potential colors and styles. Um, maybe you could even put in some pattern papers and um, other embellishments that I didn't even think of or we didn't even think of. And um, Anyway, it's a cool piece and it's not that difficult to put together, but it'll definitely put a smile on, on your child's face. So, hope you guys enjoyed the assembly tutorial um, and I will see you next time. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www. 3dsvg.com Live, craft, love, and dream.